what you see from Thomas today? Probably his best performance of the season so far. Yeah, I, I don't think there was any question about that. You know, he was uh, just huge for all 40, but I thought he was humongous in the first half, kept us in it. You know, hit some, I think he hit all three of his threes in the first half. Uh, all very much needed to kind of keep them at bay and keep us in the ball game. And, um, you know, he just played so hard. He had four offensive rebounds. I think the one late, you know, with under a minute, uh, was, it was huge. It kept it from being a one-possession game. And, um, you know, credit to him and Kondo. I thought both those guys played really, really hard. And, uh, you know, it's tough to finish a game on the road in the SEC with two freshmen in the front court. And uh, both those guys did a great job to finish it up for us. What was it? Huh, yeah, yeah I, you know, I think we uh, we challenged our team pretty pretty good at halftime. Uh, you know, we gave up 46 in the second half against LSU, so another 46 point half, and uh, it was a little bit, you know, just asking our guys what we wanted our identity to be. You know, or do we want to be a team that is really good offensively, but you know, looks like a team that doesn't have much interest in guarding, or do we want to be a complete team that has a chance to play deep into the season? Uh, and my challenge to them was I want to see more of that second team. And I thought we did a better job uh, in the second half with our physicality. We were getting on 50-50 balls better. Uh, we did a better job on the glass. And uh, we did a better job staying attached to shooters. You know, they made six threes in the first half, got up 15. We only allowed nine attempts in the second half. One of them was late on a switch. So, uh, you know, specifically those areas. And, uh, oh, yeah, I got that right, three in the second half. And then, uh, you know, just – Making them miss more than just being okay with them getting a shot up. It was 19 turnovers last game. Zion's line is just ridiculous. Um, zero turnovers in how many minutes? Yeah, 38. Yeah, no, I mean, he's obviously really, really uh, comfortable and really good at running the team and keeping us in our stuff, uh, you know, finding guys. And uh, he's, he's like the ultimate security blanket out there. He's going to be able to get us organized and get us into something. He does a good job finding guys. Uh, does a good job recognizing when things are available. Like he called that action early in the second half for Will to get that stop behind three on our, our Iverson action. Um, so he's out there seeing things and playing quarterback for us. And to have a fifth year to do that, uh, you know, it just gives me a lot of comfort and obviously it makes our team a lot better. It seems like I'll focus on taking away the three ball there in the second half. How yeah. do you do that heading into your teammates? Alabama must be relies on the three alone. I have no idea yet, to be honest. <laughs> I mean, I, they get threes up against everybody. Um, you know, but that was a huge – emphasis for us today uh, because that was a big reason why they came back against us in the second half uh, at our place. We just did not guard the three well enough. And again, early in the game, uh, you know, I thought we're, we're okay. Um, limited in 22 attempts overall, not bad. Um, but, you know, they, they play lineups that are tough for us to guard the way we play with two bigs. So um, that was a challenge. I think Alabama is going to be a similar challenge that way. You know, they're, uh, I think they're number one, our top three in the nation, adjusted offensive efficiency. So we're going to have to think of uh, ways to be creative to take them out of what they want to do. Uh, but, you know, to be honest, we'll, we'll worry about Alabama tomorrow. I'm, I'm enjoying this victory today, to be honest.